Hi, I'm Sean Arnold, and this is another brief, brave attempt in learning. We're going to try and troubleshoot some of the issues parents and teachers have had with the DOE-issued iPads. It's really great how the city has provided hundreds of thousands of iPads to students across the city that are connected to mobile networks. But what hasn't been as amazing is some of the networking issues and other issues that they've had. I'm going to walk through a few steps you can take to try to fix that. So the network is usually one of the main issues they may not be working. So your first step is to try to connect to some Wi-Fi if you have access to it. Sometimes that faster network will help you connect to downloads you needed and updates you needed for the rest of the iPad to work. If that doesn't help, go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off to see if that works better. You can access Wi-Fi through the settings or by pulling from the top right corner of the screen. You can test it out by going to the browser and typing in a website. Certain large app downloads may be preventing a lot of what you're trying to do on an iPad. Canceling one of those like CrowdStrike, for example, can really help out. If the app is grayed out, simply hold down on it and choose Cancel Download. If that doesn't work, you can always put the device into airplane mode for about 15 seconds. You can get there again by swiping from the top right corner of the screen. If when you exit out of airplane mode it still doesn't work, you can try to reset your network settings. The Zscaler app has caused a few headaches. You should automatically be signed into the app, but go ahead and head in and see if the service status says connecting. You want to wait until it says on. Understand that might take a few minutes. If that does work, you can go ahead and close Zscaler and go ahead and test out your internet. Your final option, which you may have skipped ahead to, is to erase all content in settings. It's under the general settings area. Don't worry, it will still reset everything on the device according to the way the DOE had it with all the apps that you need. It'll simply restart your device and you can simply load it all up again with those apps after it's connected to an appropriate network. Understand though that the whole resetting process may take as much as 30 to 40 minutes depending on the speed of your network.